I don't even know how to start this video. Um, this is going to be... Listen, do not tune off of this video. If, especially if you haven't ever seen Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay? This video is going to be like nothing you've ever experienced. Okay? At least for me. I'm speaking on my personal behalf and... I'm sure a lot of you that are fans of this game probably feel the same way. This this episode is going to be It's going to be a tough one, okay? Anyways, welcome back guys to Red Dead Redemption 2. Here we go again. Here we go again. I'm I want to talk about it, but I don't want to talk about it cuz I'll spoil it. Ah, uh, I'm already hurting. I'm already hurting. Oh, dude, I'm... Oh, God. Okay, so, let's get with the program here. We gotta go back to Dutch. I'm not even supposed to be here in the mines. I'm supposed to be going up through here. And, um... We'll take a look at the... Oh, on the last... Uh, the first time that I played this game, it was always us talking about... This is the one... Whoa! Whoa! You see, you can never... You can never let your guard down in this game, man. Nah, fam. You crazy? Look at this! Bro! Girl. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this game so much. Oh. oh god. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry for pausing, but I'm gonna do something. I have to do something. Oh, I can't save the game. Are you f flarking kidding me? It's gonna be the new curse word here. Flark. Instead of saying fuck, I'm just gonna say flark. Hold on. I, th I think my horse is distressed. I need to save the game, and, and it's for a purpose. I wonder if it's, if it's because we're still kind of agitated or under stress. Oh, gobble, gobble. Yeah. All right. We are back at the camp. Can I save now? I'm in my safe haven. There we go. Yeah, we're probably still distressed. So I'm going to save all the way over here. The joys of civilization. What a beautiful, what a beautiful title, huh? I miss Hosea, man. Ever since that man died, I feel like he was uh, the glue, in a way, holding Dutch together before he went all crazy and shit. You all right, girl? Damn, I'm cut in the face. I didn't even realize that. Uh, let me just brush off my horse. Feed her. Okay. Should I feed her something? Yeah, let's feed her. I don't know how horses like hay, man. That's like fucking grass. <laughs> how do you how do you survive off of that? Um Let me go to my, my tent real quick. I'm gonna speak to everyone here. Or not everyone, but Kind of, sort of. Uncle? Okay, I can't speak to Uncle. Who are those two creepy fellas over with Micah? Two guns, he knows. What the hell are they doing here? I have no idea. <sighs> Arthur, I'm, I'm real scared. This, this ain't good. You're gonna be okay. Good. Be ready. Just be ready. I understand. Anybody here have anything to say? No? All right. So why are these two still here? Old pals of Michael. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? 
What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vandalin! Mr. Morgan! Charles! They try to kill my people for oil! For oil! Today we ride once more! Ride with me! Ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son! It is a thing of great beauty! Stop! Everyone, stop! My son... My last son... Don't! When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. What a fuck. Don't. Run with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. Please, Mr. Morgan, after you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles. Who else will come with me? No, oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. <laughs> I guess. Can't stay there by All yourself right. now. Let's ride Bill. out. It's like, dude, he's helping this guy. And Dutch is like, oh, what else are you doing behind my back? Like, bro, he's clearly doing something good. Not betraying your dumb ass. What else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? Timbuktu? That's enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier, Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose, because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on. Crazy, huh? The group is divided, totally divided. This is nuts. Nuts, nuts. Look up ahead. It's one of them. Are you all right, son? Eagle flies. He needs help. 
They all need help. Quick. Somebody help no. them. No, go. Please hurry. I'll be. Come on! man we're like man it's like arthur and john are like brothers they're like they know what's up like they know that they're really out there for themselves <sighs> it's a massacre we gotta help these men and anyone see eagle flies there going across the walkway eagle flies crazy got bro. what you wanted dutch you coming arthur I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, That's man. right, baby. That's right. They know who's the good person here. Let's fucking go. Hold up. Let's go. Shit. Oh my god. Oh god, I almost shot this dude from me. No! Somebody up there, right? Yep. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Let's go through the train! 
I'm surprised my hat is still intact. <laughs> Hasn't fallen off. I think Arthur glued it to his head. No, my hat! That was hilarious. Oh, what? Bro, I took off my damn hand. Excuse me, that's my daddy's hand, bitch. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with <laughs> you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on, get him out of here. All of you. Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money. You fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free? Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on, don't doubt me no more. Hmm. I love how the office is like lit up. Like, hey, I'm over here. Kill me. <laughs> Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. Oh, he's not here right now. Or was he? I know we encountered him one time. You know, I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. It's a, a few thousand dollars worth, maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. I don't know if Dutch has actually asked uh, Arthur what's wrong with him once. I don't know. 
I don't recall. Did you hear that? about this game like even the little background music is so true to oh we got one a white one a white one i need help look at that son of a fucking bitch dude son of a bitch Fucking bitch, dude. Uh, you, you silly fool! Uh, come on! Uh, you saved my life more than once to get mine for yours. It's as it should be. Come on! We need to go. You. You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Oh, we got some money. And with the train job? <coughs> but we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together. Exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually he is nowadays. Sure. <clears throat> Come on. We got to get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Did you get see that son of a bitch, how he just left us, dude? He left us to die. Come on, my friend. Our men. We must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry about this, about all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, the Dutch, the Dutch is, I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy, and we couldn't believe it, and we followed him anyway. Things should never have gone this far. You've seen the situation on the reservation. Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you... Your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? There used to be some, some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be, I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. I forgot that, uh, that friend Dutch here. left Arthur for My dead. Friend. He's a brave man. I forgot Fearless. about that. Always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north. Wherever we can. 
Many are ready to fight. No, this is over for all of us. Hold on, I gotta take this crap off, dude. It's bothering me. <laughs> Peta. Yes. Peta. It's okay, brother. Save your breath. We're not too far. Come on! Don't die, brother! Not yet! Oh, God. Let's get there faster, guys. We gotta get there quicker than that. Man, I swear I did not remember Dutch just walking away and instead of Hold saving on, Arthur. What a piece of We're shit. Damn, dude, what the freaking hell? Hold up. Oh, your dad told you, man. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought the village was being burnt. Oh, oh crap. My son. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. Yeah, I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. Oh, that's the couple! Oh my god! That's the couple that we saved! 
Oh my god. <coughs> So let's see, do we have anything else here? No. Alright. So we gotta go. We gotta go. Gotta go. Back to the camp. Alrighty. Oh, crap. Just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Oh! Well, he did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. It really got me. Uh, you taking credit for the quality of the trap? I'm just saying that if it were a bear that got trapped in it, it would have been trapped real good. Yeah, but you trapped your own damn self instead, didn't you? You know, I sure hope it don't happen to you someday. Fair enough. Well, I got a mosey. You take care of that leg. I will. How oh, funny, dude. That's the guy we saved him from the bear trap. The last episode, I think. What do you need? Oh, God. Man in town names. named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right. Take eyes. a look around. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, let's see what we got. Uh, Litchfield Repeater. We don't have that? I thought we did. Sawed off shotgun. We own a lot of them too, though. Repeating shotgun. Semi auto shotgun. I'm gonna go for the Litchfield repeater. We must start thinking. Stop believing. Stop Where is it? Start thinking. The whole world is a single. So noted. You have a good day now. Thank you. I'll customize it later. No need to customize it right now. Only these two in Dutch? Oh, that's right. A lot of the people have left. Well, at least you ain't run off. God. Why is everyone acting so crazy, Morgan? I guess folk are real scared. We'll be fine. We always have been. Now Dutch will see us good. I hope so. Not you as well. Hi. Another fella doubting them? You know, I thought... I thought more of you, Morgan. Nobody wants you here, partner. You feel all right? You don't and look don't too good. You, Can't you tell that? You trying to be funny? Are you too stupid? You'll get yours. I don't like you. You just go around picking fights, huh? Weasley son of a bitch. What is wrong with you? Ah, shut up. Enough now! Mike is little lackey. Son of a bitch. Hmm. 
What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone. At dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe ain't we no can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score. We got enough money to leave. Bro, All this the guy always wants a score. Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And I've always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all. Going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but you know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. Hmm. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Crazy, bro. Okay. Let's pick up the pace. Train is due in San Denis in an hour. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys heading home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of San Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. There's a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, in the back. It's a lot of dynamite. 
Sure you don't want any more, Arthur? <laughs> Got it. All right. Let's get this done. Mount up, Arthur. So listen. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all this will still mean something. Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, <laughs> uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. Ah, uh, God. The story of this game, even though it's it's after the first one, it's a prequel, but it was made after the first one, ties up to the first one so good. Like, masterpiece. attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Man. Like, I, I remember, though, the, obviously, Not much further now. the group coming to this but the detail like all the little conversations and actions done towards arthur and john those were things that i didn't remember specifically so seeing it again is like damn really, you know shit was really bad for real Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, everybody mount up. We still going through with this? Of course we are.
got something! Catch! Yeah. Wait, there's more! That was wild. Morgan! The driver's dead! This thing ain't stopping! We got to get off! Okay then! Let's go! Move. Hmm. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha! mission red dead redemption oh yeah yeah oh man they came and took Abigail I say Jack we hid but they took Abigail who did Agent Milton and his men took it Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so it. So we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Yeah! God damn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. <laughs> Miss Tilly. Here. Uh, God. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll, I'll miss. Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler. Ride with me. Ah. Fuck. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. Goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Alright, let me take this uh this thing out. Super annoying. Now he don't care if he orphans his French child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way. John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. Give them a life. 
Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> and Eagle Flies, another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right, me and you together. What's left of it. Now, come on. Wow. Not a fucking... I have a meeting in 15 minutes, but we're gonna have to wait. I'm sorry. Ugh, God. Okay, here we are. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. <laughs> Please. Okay. All right, so go to the top of the lighthouse. Let's go right up here. All the way to the tippity top. I shoot them. Come on, Sadie. Come on, there's nobody else shooting. Is there? Come on, Sadie. Oh, there was. Wow.
about to shoot his ass. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. like a savage, bro. Ladies, let's get out of here. Calm down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. <laughs> and you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? <laughs> Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Motherfucking okay. piece of shit, okay. bro. You see that? <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. Till a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. <laughs> Both of you. Micah fucking Bell. He didn't even suspect Mike actually ratting. Let's go, let's go. Get on, Arthur. Get on. Hey, 
Hey, you're riding my horse. to John. Where's John? I, I don't... I think... Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> <laughs> Oh my god. The many things we learn. This is it. This is the scene that killed me when I first played it. This video might even get a copyright because of the song, but I don't care. Only just to burn. <laughs> That's the way. Oh gosh. That's the way. I just wish you'd done it before he worked yourself into the grave.
really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. May the wind be at your back. Good fortune to your head. <sighs> May the cards lay out a stray. Oh, God, fuck. That's the way Oh, goodness. That's the way You saved my life. You're a good man. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. <sighs> we all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. <laughs> Hooray. <clears throat> <clears throat> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. <laughs> no, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. <laughs> Dutch! John? Oh my god. <laughs> left me! <laughs> left me to die! My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. Oh. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming, fast! Look at that son of a bitch. Mother. Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. <laughs> He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down. God damn it. Move. What a fucking. You ready, John? Yeah. What Everyone? a what a fucking mess. Come on, 
dude the fact that dutch doesn't even believe us is like dude ever since we met this dude everything's hit the fucking shit how do you not believe it you know like this Those crazy left me for dead. seems that's what they do now over here come on arthur with me you're a dead man Back who was the rat john milton told me <coughs> we should have killed him months ago let's go arthur push hey hold it right there I'm with you. Keep going. Stop where you are and put your guns on the ground. Let's keep moving. Arthur, you go up first. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Ah, uh, maybe you're right, but uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Arthur, just make the call. See you around, John Marston. Be safe. This is an ending that I never chose. Dutch. I can. Come and get me, you bastard. Oh, shit. Dutch! This is the. Come and get me, you bastards. This is. This is like kind of like a. Not the happiest ending. Um. The other ending is more like the good guy ending. This is still a good guy, but you know, 
we already did it on the first playthrough, and a lot of people told me to do this because this was super badass. Now notice, we don't have a horse. We don't have shit. But this is the gangster one. This is like, fuck it. I'm going back, getting my pay back. And it's, from what I hear, this is the more canon one. The more canon ending, like the more realistic ending and how things should have been. back to the camp for the money this is so sad though like everything went to shit man our horse died like everything everything he's lost it all like everything John get to safety. That's the one we did. There it is. Here we go. And this is why I wanted to replay it, just to do this. I didn't want to do bad choices choices throughout the full playthrough because I like Arthur's uh just playthrough when he's good. Or meaningful, you know. Forty-two thousand dollars. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's insane. Oh, God. You goddamn snake. 
snake. Okay, and you're a vulture. Rob and Dutch, after all he's done for you. You weak fool. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Spotless bastard. I'm gonna slice you up. Oh my god. Jesus Christ! God damn snake! That's right, bitch. Oh, you got me pretty good, Black Lung. This is why this is canon. Come on now. Let because of that. Micah has that scar, and we never knew how he got it. And this is exactly how he got it. If you do the other ending, you don't do that to him. <laughs> and that. <laughs> Stop this. Just stop this. Both of you fools. He's turned, Dutch. I told you. He's turned. He no. came back here to rob you. I didn't turn, Micah. You did. Tell Dutch what you said to Agent Mountain. Shut your mouth. You're talking nonsense. You're the rat, Micah. I'm Molly, dude. Him. Ah! You're dying, Black Lung. Yeah, you're dead. Inside, you're dead. Come on, Dutch. Let's get the money and get out of here. Dutch. Let's go. It's nonsense. Of course it is. Some years later, oh, my eyes hurt, dude, from like crying and shit. So sad. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. You gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should've just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hardworking men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. 
What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. <laughs> the books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother <clears throat> with your books. You found something? All right, guys. Get this wagon moving, please. The boy will be bored out of his mind. <sighs> guys, we're going to end this here. Thank you so much. Please drop a like on this video. Drop it for Arthur Morgan, if not for me. I will say the ending I did when I first played the game is Can more go? I'd like to get impactful as today. in it's more sentimental. It's sadder. But this ending was more canon to what happens because later on you'll see Micah and stuff. Um, obviously he didn't die. And it'll make more sense why that, or from what I've heard, why that ending is more canon than the, up, the other one. We? Is that what this is? But now we've What's officially done here? both endings. Um... But it's still not the end. We still have now a whole nother world ahead with John Marston and his family. What a phenomenal game. Best game ever. Best game ever. Anyways, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.